Welcome to our monthly gathering of the Chi Interfaith Community. My name is Reverend Scott Quinn. I'm the Director of Community with the Chi Interfaith Community. And we welcome you no matter who you are, where you come from, what you believe, who you love. This is your home tonight and we welcome you to join us in the fullness of your heart and soul and song to celebrate coming together in community across faith traditions to celebrate the oneness of our human family. The Chaplaincy Institute is both an interfaith seminary and a spiritual community. Those who complete their interfaith studies are eligible for ordination and become clergy in good standing within our community. Some folks, like Danny, have already been ordained by another religious body, in Danny's case um, previously as a Catholic priest. So ordination into ministry is a once-in-a-lifetime event and the Chi community recognizes as valid the ordination that Danny has already attained. So our ceremony tonight is really one of welcoming him into our community and to transfer his ministerial credentials into our community. Danny has successfully completed all the requirements of the transfer program and is called to interfaith coordination. This evening's ceremony invites Danny to take the interfaith vows of ordination upon which our community Will welcome him as a clergy member in good standing of the Chi Interfaith Community. So, Danny, now for your vows. As an ordained minister of the Chi Interfaith Community, will you nurture your relationship with the divine and all its manifestations? I wrote. Will you honor the diversity and unity of all beings, cultures, and traditions? Will you inspire interfaith awareness, cooperation, and connection? Will you uphold the Chi interfaith community's ethical code of conduct and serve others with compassion and respect? Will you continue to nourish yourself in body, heart, mind, and spirit? Will you commit to serve peace, justice, and sustainability? community, a stole <laughs> is worn by those who have been ordained. It symbolizes service and some trace its origins back to the story of Jesus using a towel to wash off his disciples' feet. As ministers, we are servants, not masters. And for Danny, this cloth will symbolize his commitment to his gifts, energy, love, and imagination in service of all those whom his ministry touches. And the special note is that this beautiful symbol of the hand with the labyrinth was actually designed by our founder, Reverend G. Rose Halpern. We pray, Holy One, that you would infuse this stole with your sacred presence. May it bless Danny with an open-hearted, open-minded grace that alone is the core of all ministry. May this cloth of service be worn lightly and with joy all of his days. May it be so. I charge you to embrace your bright intellect and your creative wisdom in equal parts, modeling the richness and healing that exists in humans' many ways of knowing. I charge you to enter fully into love, the love of God, the love of humans new and dear to you, and the love of this earth. From this place, may you show our world what you have come to know, that we are here to learn together, to commune and create together, and most important, to care for one another regardless of where we call home. Finally, I charge you to dance your dance of true in, remaining courageous and faithful to what divinity has called you here to do, to live, love, and serve. So we will conclude this by 
inviting all of us to have a participation to place our blessing upon Danny. So I invite those who are ordained ministers to come forward first. And then everyone else to come join us as well. And place your hand on the back, the shoulder, wherever of someone else. So what we're doing is we are through the lineage of those already ordained by the Chaplaincy Institute, passing on to Danny all of those spiritual ancestors and the lineage of this community into as an infusion of blessing Danny's whole being in each of you um, through your extension of a hand we're also extending to Danny your blessing and your welcome into community and the open love of your heart infusing him with the vibration of your joy to support him in his ministry we pray. Source of all life, we pray your blessing on Danny as he embarks on this new phase of his ministry and service. Grant him all the gifts and support he needs to thrive as an interfaith minister. Work through him so that his loving presence may be your touch, your voice, your gaze, your essence. Danny, it is my joy on behalf of the Chi Interfaith Community to welcome you into our midst as a clergy in good standing of the Chi Interfaith Community as an ordained interfaith minister. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Danny, in his newly <laughs> brand new uh, role, not, not a year, not a month, just a few moments, <laughs> as an ordained interfaith minister with the Chi Interfaith Community, uh, will open up our time together as we enter into deeper sacred space with an invocation. Change has come unbidden. And at times, unwelcome. There are many challenges to be faced and overcome. Change can be daunting and scary, but it has come. Ready or not, change is here and must be accepted. May I be equal to the task ahead of me. Ready. To renew myself, ready to take on the new. Guide my hands to the soil and sea, honoring the alchemy of food. Let me remember your abundance and share the bread of life with any who hunger. I am forgiven. joy it is to have you in our community officially now. 